Hey, this is Frank. I'm here in Las Vegas. Every January, the global tech industry gathers in this city for one event, CES. Most people think CES is just a place to see new gadget, but if you look at its history, you will realize something important. CES is where future has been quite researched for more than 50 years. In this video, I won't focus on the specific products. Instead, I want to give you a clear picture of what the CES real is and why it has mattered for decades. CES stands for Consumer Electronics Show. It was first held in 1967. From the very beginning, CES had a simple goal to bring new technology into everyday life. That point is critical. CES was never about lab experiments or academic research. It has always focused on one question: What will ordinary people use in the future? In the early decades of CES, you didn't see AI or robots. What you saw were color televisions, radios, VCRs, calculators. Today, these look basic, but at the time, they represented something revolutionary: information and technology entering the living room. In those years, CES played a key role in making technology visible, affordable, usable. It was about turning innovation into daily life. In the 1990s, CES began to truly change the world.、Uh, this era introduced personal computers, CDs, and DVDs, home internet, large screen televisions. CES was no longer just showcasing electronics; it was defining the digital lifestyle. From this point on, CES became a global stage where the future of technology was shaped. After 2010, CES entered the era most people remember. The keywords became smartphones, smart TVs, smart homes, wearable devices. What's interesting is this: many products that were criticized at CES as useless. Later became essential. This tells us something important. CES doesn't showcase finished products; it showcases directions. In recent years, CES has changed again.、Uh, the focus is no longer just consumer devices. Instead, you see artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, robotics, digital humans. Sustainable energy CES has shifted from selling devices. To presenting how future society might function, that's why today you see here not only tech companies but also automakers, AI startups, robotics companies, even governments and the cities. If you want to understand how we may live in five years, how we may work in ten years, how humans will coexist with AI and the machines. Then CES is worth paying attention to because CES isn't about selling dreams; it's about testing whether the future is realistic. Thanks for watching. I'm Frank. See you in the in the next one. Okay, today I will show you the CES show. I will show you some new products I can see.